Step one is to pause while your car is in motion. I recommend about 60 or 70 miles an hour for the best results. Before you move on, you need to set your time down to 100 times slower than real time. You'll need this when taking the screenshots to get the motion blur effect. Next, simply go into photo mode. Once you've done that, hit five for the relative camera. This camera locks onto the car and you'll see why we need that in just a minute. For some reason, the field of view slider is broken when you're in the relative camera in photo mode. So you have to adjust it yourself by using page up and page down. If you wanna know more about adjusting these settings in the photo mode, check out this video in the top right for a tutorial about that. So using your preferred method of screenshotting, you're gonna unpause and take about 20 to 30 screenshots while the car's in motion like this. Now that you've taken your screenshots, let's move on to the editing process. For this section of the tutorial, I'll be using Photopea, which is a free to use photo editing software you can use on any browser. Link in description. To start off, take the first screenshot you took and drag it into Photopea. Next, take the rest of the screenshots you took and put them in the Layers tab. After that, you'll need to select all these screenshots, but I swear I cannot find a Select All button. Control A will not work, I don't know what to do. So you'll just have to manually Control click all of them. Once they're all selected, hit right click and then hit convert to smart object. It might take a minute depending on how many screenshots you took. Then the final step is to go to layer, smart object, stack mode, average. And there you have it. That is a motion blur screenshot. Thank you for watching.